Am I? Friday, everyone. Two laners. We have a special guest in the house. Could you turn the camera towards you? <laughs> yeah. We have Laura. Laura's hey. on the mound today. <laughs> so it's Friday afternoon. Might have to shake uh, again. Sorry. We're going to get ready to uh, get into the weekend. And next week, it's like supposed to be 100 and something all week. Yeah, it's been great weather this week, and then what, like 104, 110? Yeah. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy week next week, but we'll probably be in the office more than riding next week anyway, so what does it matter, right? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Carl Little. Hello, Carl. Thanks for uh, chiming in there. So what? we'll talk a little bit about uh, some upcoming trips this, uh, this round. Someone had asked a question about the helmets that we run and their Bell SRT, so we'll get into that a little bit. Maybe take one apart and show you if we can. Laura will come up close on some of these when we right. get ready to do that. Um, but yeah, so it's been a little bit of a lazy week uh, in terms of riding. Uh, Lance and Laura had to go down on their anniversary, and so that, you know, Teresa and I got out for a couple hours, but uh, we're hoping maybe we get out this weekend, right? A day, half a day? Yeah, we'll probably do a little day run, you know, uh, get out there and have some fun. But uh, we're planning, we're working on some really great trips right now. Uh, one, I guess we can talk about it now. We're, we're planning on either doing Route 66, we're going to go to Milwaukee and then from Chicago down and do the entire run, or... You designed another run. That yeah, we were thinking of maybe going uh, out through um, Arizona, and there's the Devil's Highway that we've heard so much about. We've been on kind of the northern part right, of it, right? Right. Up through Colorado and some and Utah, but uh, we want to hit that southern end, then maybe go to the Carlsbad Caverns, and then I don't know. We wanted to. We haven't told Jace this yet, but we were thinking <laughs> of maybe going out to Fast Life Garage out in Dallas then head back up through Taos, come through the Petrified Forest. So it should be a, a good run there too. We'll get that done at I some mean, point. That'd be like six to eight episodes. I'm, I'm shooting for the Route 66 run though. We just have to work out some details. And if that happens, we're gonna get our kicks on Route 66. Yes. <laughs> hey Todd, uh, appreciate the comment there. Yeah, we're uh, still dealing with that a little bit. They, they had a problem with some plastic bottles, I was told. So. Uh, stay tuned and I'll be in touch. I know you're going on a ride and uh, you'll need that when you get back. So stay in touch and I appreciate the comment. And a, a gentleman, Pete, uh, Pete's Adventures, he said it's raining in Australia and it's rained over an inch so far. Oh, wow. But I guess Jeez. you can use the water though, right? Yeah, looks like they could use the water for yeah. sure. We could use some water. <laughs> We've got a bunch of forest fires all over the place. Yeah, so that's always good. But uh, the Route 66 trip I'm, I'm looking forward to because there's an actual sign in Chicago on the main street. This is a sign, we got a photograph of it. It's the beginning of Route 66. You actually leave the town, the city, Chicago, and you head down through Illinois, Missouri, Oklahoma, Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, and end up in uh, Los Angeles, I guess Santa Monica. But yeah. there's pieces that we have to find that are non-existent. Yeah. You know? I mean some of the roads torn up, but uh, and some of them will have to get off the 40 and other routes and go through some towns. But we've had some people tell us to stop in and say hi, and they'll run us through the you know, gentleman uh, in, in Texas, I believe. And so um, last year we were in Chicago at about this time. Right, exactly. And we were standing by that sign. Right, right. We weren't standing on the corner in Winslow, Arizona. No. We were standing on the corner in Chicago. Arizona. <laughs> so what do you think? We gonna fly in and, and get bikes. What take the bikes out? What do we? We're either gonna fly in and have some bikes waiting for us, or we're gonna fly in and have our own bikes waiting for. Us. I don't know yet. And where would we fly to? Uh, we would fly to Wisconsin because I think we would do uh, get you guys a visual on the Harley Museum. Yeah. Uh, check out the headquarters there and take off from there. Possibility, yeah. and we don't know what kind of weather we'd run into, but we don't care. We're hoping mid October. We're good. Yeah. So. Um, 
But yeah, I think going to Milwaukee, it's what, 80 miles or something north of Chicago. So right. um, that shouldn't be too bad. But, you know, because I got a new bike, I'm a hog member. <laughs> you get that hog right. membership for a year for free. And I actually get into the museum for free. There you go. So, so Galen's going to go in with a not going to pay. But you may have to come out of pocket. He's going to go on a POV cam um, by himself in there. Right? <laughs> um, but it'd be great to meet Tulane Life uh, uh, audience through every state we go through. Yeah, that'd be fun. You know, um, kind of our first ride along with. We've had a couple folks jump in when we didn't know, and right. Um, we've ridden with a few guys that uh, just came up, but. That, that was to go through the state. That was a trip that one uh, we went to Tombstone and we had a guy yeah. race by us and then jump in and he's riding with us and then we stopped to get gas and we talked to him and he's like, oh yeah, no, I, I'm a fan and I follow you guys and I saw you on the road and I wanted to ride with you. Can I ride with he you? He said, can I ride to Phoenix with you? <laughs> so we like, said, let's okay, go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, looks like we got a hello from San Diego. Uh, Blake, how you doing? What's and, up, Blake? Uh, Jared uh, from Virginia. Hey, Virginia. And Kevin, you retracted your message. Was it bad? <laughs> Let us know. And don't back. forget. Kevin's back. Kevin's back. Don't forget. Next Friday we have our winner of the the signed uh, Monument Valley Road Glide Street Glide photo. One of our so favorites. We're, we're gonna draw it on the thirtieth. Drawing on the 30th. And so the 28th, which is, I believe, Monday, uh, is the last time for entry. So you got to go subscribe to our YouTube channel. you got to go to the actual Instagram text where we launch this and tag three friends. And if you can go into our email on our website and subscribe there, those are the best. Those that have all three of those will have the best chance of the drawing. Yeah. And I'm going to say it again. I want that over someone's... You know, mantle. <laughs> you want it in the garage. No, I'm just saying if they're married, it's going oh, in the garage. Oh, that's what you said. You say that, yeah. Unless the lady likes riding. Well, I mean, that could be. Yeah, maybe maybe a lady wins this. How, how do we know? We don't know. Who knows? And, and Kevin is back, and he's high from Sydney, Australia. It's hey, Kevin, how's it going? Very cool you guys from Australia join in on this. We're uh, excited to see that as well when people from other countries join in. It's pretty cool. It just shows you that the uh, motorcycle community is like yeah, pretty tight. You and know? the reach we have of social media just yeah. makes us all kind of yeah. cool. So yeah, we had a question on the Bell SRT. So you want to talk a little bit about it? We both have been running the, uh, the race stars for a long time and we love those, but now that we're we're vlogging and, and talking and doing things in a different way, the thing we like about these helmets is the fact that you can do that and have your face showing. So Yeah, so about a year ago when we went to Sturgis, Lance and Seabear were running these. Yeah. <laughs> and we were like, what are they doing? But they would at stoplights they could lift up and talk, or if they're riding close to each other, they could lift up and you know, you're, it's funny because you're in a helmet and you start talking and you think people know what you're saying because they can <laughs> read your lips and it's like, no, they can't. So this makes that so much easier to, to see what a person is saying. Right, and you can ride a little bit like this if it's warm and you want to cool off and then you got the eye protection that comes down, that comes out of the, the helmet itself. Um, so this is a do that. fiberglass yeah. shell. It's dot approved. Um, you want to open the inside a little bit? Show them the, show them the ear pieces. Yeah, come over here. Come over, over and look in the... So, for those of you that run a, a device, you know, to uh, listen to your music or what have you, um, you can see down in here there's cutouts, recessed little cutouts here, and that's for your speaker to fit down in. So, sometimes when we were running these and those cutouts weren't there, you get that speaker pressing up against your ear and potentially hurts as you, if you're out there long enough and even gives you a headache. But the functionality of these shells are just incredible. And, and now, uh, Teresa and Laura even run these as well. So they can lift them up here at a stoplight and get hot. It's got a great venting system. You've got the top vents and the lower vents. Yeah. Um, what kind of, when, what visor do we run typically? 
This is the pro tint, which is awesome because it, it lightens and darkens as you ride, and that is a must when you're traveling. And, and you know, we'll be in our helmet sometimes eight to ten hours a day. Right. You know, and the, the, it's got great vents in the top and a great chin vent, and it just the air flows through the helmet real nice. And you can see these at TulaneLife.com. These are this year's models. We're still waiting to see what, what next year comes uh, along with that. We know the Roland Sands is out of stock, and I believe most of those are out of stock as well, your helmet. I um, could get another one of mine. Yeah, but um, we'll, we'll hopefully get some new designs, but you can go see them at TulaneLife.com. It comes typically with a clear uh, visor, so if you want the Pro Tint, you need to add that to your cart, and it's highly recommended. Now you don't need to carry another visor. You know, you can, you can uh, uh, ride it day or night. Really comfortable helmet, though. Um, like I say, we've been running Bell. Uh, my son, our son, the lady behind the camera, uh, has been wearing Bell since he's been five years old. So. Yeah. And his race number was 54 his whole career, and that's when Bell was founded. So it's kind of like a... Oh, wow. But we dig Bell. They are cool. Yeah, I've run a Bell since I was in the 70s when I was a puff on the, the motorcycle, but it was a goofy <laughs> three-quarter speckled right. blue. We went through the stages of the peanut helmet, the three-quarter helmets, and now we're all, every one of us, all 12 guys or whatever guys that ride with us and gals are full-face helmets. And it's, when you get out and it rains and the wind, it's just more comfortable, it's better. And, you For know, us. quite frankly, it's it's safer. I mean, yeah. to each your own, but, you know, if you're in a full face, um, you think it's really hot, constricting, but there's Panavision that they've developed in these helmets, so it's a deeper cut, so you can actually see your blind spots a little bit better. Um, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's definitely a, a big opening, Yeah, left to right. But we saw a guy, you know, go down in Sturgis and... And if he was in the three quarter, I mean, his face would have just, the whole helmet was just scraped up and that would have been a serious road rash on the face there, so. Not pretty, I think. Not pretty. Here's a front view there. But yeah. anyway. Tyler wants to know how they are in cold weather. Uh, who? Tyler. Tyler, cold weather, I've been in 14 degree weather with them and I've been in 115 degree weather Cold weather, I love them. Yeah, I think it keeps you a lot warmer. You can wear a, you know, there's a face mask also that they yeah, make you can that's, put the little that's a little bit warmer and it has a, it's almost like a ski mask, but um, you can also close the vents down if it gets too cold. Uh, that keeps all the heat inside the helmet. So right. uh, I think they're comfortable and I love having them like when we're in the elements because, yeah. You know, and I don't know what windshields everyone runs. We run the clockworks, and we tend to have right now on both the bikes the 12-inch Pro Tours. That moves the stuff yeah. over you pretty well, but if it's raining or snowing or something like that, you're still going to get pegged. Um, so it's great to have this and not have a mouth full of teeth full of bugs, you know, yeah. when you're smiling at people. And for me, you know, like I said, we've been in 14-degree weather. We've been in snow. Um, I wear a pair of thermal yep. pants, a pair of jeans. If it's raining or wet or snow, I just throw the uh, rain pants on over it. But that's it, and a sweatshirt and a jacket, I stay warm. But that's just me. I, you can bundle up the neck, uh, uh, neck gaiter really keeps you warm. Yeah, you know? a scarf or a neck gaiter. Or, um, and if you're wearing that with your helmet, yeah, you're just in, you're safe. We have ridden in some cold weather. Yeah. Um, but even in the hot weather, I mean, yeah. you know, you open your vents, you can open the, we run the helmets with the visor up just a little bit, get some ventilation through. The nice thing about these SRTs is you can pull that up and you can pull on it. They fit a little bit looser than a normal. So if you're a medium, take a medium, but it's going to fit really a little bit looser than a full, full helmet just because they need, there's a little bit of break in here. But you can pull your cheek pad open and blow a wind all through your the back of your uh, back to the back of your neck. It's it's great stuff. Yeah. And you can also put two lane life stickers on them. You know they have you a know, lock on them. They do have a lock on them. That holds it up. Yeah. So there is a lock so right on the inner side here. 
that holds this whole part up. So if you don't want it, you want to make sure it's not going to blow down or fall down right there. And you can see our beautiful hand letter, you know, two lane life. Uh, I know a guy standing next to me that actually paints those for us. And we have that service on the website too. We do, we do. And you painted a number of helmets. Send so me your helmet, cool. I'll put a name on it. For sure. Um, all right, so we've talked about our rides. Any questions out there that you all have? Uh, we're trying to get ourselves in a position where this garage talk ends up becoming consistent on the day, whether it's Thursday, we need to make that choice. Right, it's gonna be Thursday or Friday. <laughs> <laughs> What's dropping next week? Uh, next week, Wednesday, we are we are doing a, a pipe install, a Cobra exhaust install on a 2020 Lowrider S. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Lowrider. Lowrider. But it's a stage four. Yeah. It's built. It's a nice um, built. It's Josh, our photographer's bike. Yeah. So we'll have that all. That'll be cool, you know. And we're gonna have. We have. We do have several things planned and we're going to have some some trips out but we're going to do a lot of things where we're maybe gone for a week and grabbing a lot of footage and videos so we can create really good content for you guys yeah um tyler you're welcome uh we enjoy answering questions sometimes we don't know the answers to them but we still enjoy answering <laughs> we know the answers to everything we experience what well, tyler's asking about the saddle and seats they're horrible i'd never buy one <laughs> I'm just kidding. We we love our saddleman seats, and, and between the two seats, uh, we've had them reskinned twice, only because we wanted a fresh logo on them, and they, they weren't going bad. We have and mine mine was reskinned because it had the gold stitching, so right. I wanted it to match the back. Right, right, right. The bike. But we, we how many like, thousand miles? Yeah. How so many? we're probably combined over 150,000 miles on our two seats. The key is now we have some saddleman sofas that were. One's heated that we installed. It's a, a new, uh, you'll be able to see that video uh, somewhere, maybe in our garage or, um, but it's a heated seat and one is just a regular one. And we're trying to get our wives used to the, these seats. They're used to just the Harley hammocks, but these are such cool looking seats. So we're gonna, we're gonna see how that goes. What do you think, Laura? I'm, I'm all in for giving it a try. As we well as I know Teresa is too, actually. <coughs> Because they, they need a little bit of a break in. Yeah. But, so you know. that's what I was going to say. If you go Saddleman, um, Saddleman has a gel core that they've uh, patented. And so you've got that both in the, you can order it for the passenger, but it's definitely for the rider. Um, the big sofas do have it for the passenger. But if you're like on a slim like we are, uh, that's a specific order. We wouldn't run the, the ladies on that seat. It's so narrow. Yeah. But their, the gel along with the foam that they use to me is um, it's a little bit firmer for your for your backside but the longer you ride the less movement you're gonna have I mean there's only a couple points where you're touching the bike and your butt is one of them and so you know for me I don't get back aches I don't get no I can do five six seven hundred mile days I feel great um, and I don't when I put the hammock on if we go on a long ride with the, the ladies Within 30 minutes, the seat's gushy, and I'm like, my back is starting to hurt. Um, it's a wider saddle, so you're like stretched out like this, and, you know. But saddlements with the LS Slim, you're you're right. Your knees are on the tank. It shows off the lines of the bike. Uh, I think they're great seats. Well, in all with what you were saying, with the firm foam and the gel, it's like a shoe. It kind of forms your body. And then Teresa said something interesting to me, which is Galen's wife. Um, she said that the longer she was on it, she kind of could also feel the support that it was giving her right. from that gush, you know. So yeah, we'll check. We'll check them out. We'll keep you posted. But we're running ours. We're running ours, and we've got a lot of miles on ours, <laughs> and we dig them, you know. And that's a cool thing. I, this kind of works out. Um, we'll be able to show you some installation videos that that we're working on with saddle and it should be pretty cool yeah and we have a you know like this weekend we have no idea what we're going to do but we might go hit the road on sunday and do something really cool with our wives and then the next thing you know we have a great video to share with you guys we have some planned ones and we have some ad lib and we got plenty of that coming so 
we got a lot to finish this year, and 2021 is even going to be better. Yeah. You know? Pretty excited for it. Um, all right, well. Jared wants to know, was there a, a – check out Jared's question. Jared Lohman. Hey, Jared. Was there a big difference going from the street light to the road light? Um, we're not telling you. <laughs> so look, we love the street lights. Lance and I have both had, I had two, he had a couple of them. Um, I'm a big fan of street lights. Um, but yes, there's a, there's a difference between, you know, the street light and the road light. And we're going to do a full review on that in the next couple of weeks. I'll tell you this much right now, I'm, I'm digging the road glide. I, I really like the ride and the comfort. Um, we just spent last Tuesday putting on risers and pegs and some shifter tips and the some new cool brake stuff. arm. And it's pretty cool. I think we'll do that reveal in the next few weeks as well. Uh, we're, we're gonna add a little bit more to it. We've got some legend suspension, some Galfer rotors, Cobra exhaust. Um, that we need to add to the bike and then you know Luke at fueling is talking to me about putting the cams in and seeing what we can do on so we're gonna make this a little bit of a vlog as well just to show you the difference um, long-winded answer but I still love a street glide I love the back bearing I love how it looks but I'm digging my road glide it's it's a pretty sweet ride and for me personally when I switched I switched I love it and I'm road glide and I'm never going back. <laughs> well, my opinion. You're not, I just you like the road. You're never going, but you could be an Indian guy. <laughs> oh, really? He was like a year ago. He's starting to tell me that you know, or two years ago. I'm going to go to the chieftain. I'm looking at these, and he's just pulling my leg the whole time. So I, I'm not going to Indian. <laughs> but if you ride an Indian, that's cool. I dig it. That's cool. Yeah. Definitely. We have many friends that have Indians. Well, not really. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bo Brooks, hello from Arkansas, Texas border. Uh, when will you guys do a co cross country trip for your videos? Boy, I can't talk. Um, that's Soon. part of the next year. I mean, we're looking at the 2021 calendar right now and we're gonna figure out, I think an east to west or something and then north to south or south to north. And we're gonna want friends to tag along with us here, jump in here in different states and join us. But like I say, in a couple of weeks, we might be up in Chicago ripping down the Route 66. So stay tuned. And Jared says he likes the color too. Thanks, Jared. We uh, kind of dig it. And you'll see some of the accent pieces that the artist friend of mine here recommended that I put on the bike. <laughs> and I think it really yeah. pops. It's really cool. Uh, Jimmy, just wondering when I clicked on your video, it said I have inappropriate content. Just wondering if you know what that's about. We have inappropriate when content. I clicked on it. it said it may have. Uh, oh, no. no. I think when you sign on to go live, it asks you if it's for kids or not for kids. Yeah. I think I clicked not for kids. Not because, I mean, what kids? I didn't think kids would be sitting here watching. That's probably it. Yeah. We're just learning this live yeah. thing. Um, on YouTube, we do lives on, on Mondays at 3.30 on Instagram, so you're welcome to join that. We're trying not to keep the same information, but it's almost so we also have a couple different audiences, so. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, yeah, I don't, I mean, the only thing inappropriate could be I'm having a beer. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, Rusty Allen, hey guys, cool videos. Thank you so much, Rusty. Uh, we appreciate all the support from, from all of you out there, the subscribers. We've just been going crazy the last couple weeks. We have a bunch of new friends and we dig it. When, when we announce this, you know, to win this beautiful portrait of, of Lance and myself signed, uh, that was two weeks ago, we had 200,000 views. And right now we have 260,000 views. So just in two weeks, we've seen a 60,000. Yeah view increase which is amazing to me it's so it's super exciting so do us a favor subscribe to our youtube channel you know get involved with our website because we have eat stays everywhere we've been roadmaps embedded in there you can use become part of our family it helps us grow to do this and keep doing this and you inspire us as much as we inspire you you know yeah and i think you know be great for you to check out our website and and tell us what you think about it are things easy to find are they you know do we need more gear what what your thoughts are i mean we're just growing this so 
be helpful for you guys to, to give us feedback and comments. Yeah, and I think uh, I think we're good. Um, Having a beer is not inappropriate, but it'd be nice if you offered your viewers one. <laughs> <laughs> well, we might have that tag along party come and hang with us and have a beer with us. You know? Yeah, Jared, we'll get that vlog out here shortly. So I guess uh, we're there. Yeah. Stay tuned Our Monday, Instagram Live. Uh, I'll say uh, Friday. Whatever. We need to talk about it. Well, Thursday or Friday next week, we'll be live on YouTube again. We'll talk about it. Um, okay, you subscribe. want to call out for next Friday? What time? 3 o'clock next Friday. 3 o'clock. Or do you want to do earlier? Uh, did, we do, did we do an early one? Uh, we did an early one. We'll get back to you. You'll Watch on our community page. We'll, no, we'll put a note up on the community page on YouTube. But subscribe, ring the bell, do all that fun stuff, and, and help us grow. We love it. And thank you for the support. Take it easy. See you down the road. We're out. Have a good weekend.